Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Doom, your host, and today we are doing another epic mod review for the Skyrim Special Edition Xbox One. Not the PC, but Xbox One console. Today it's getting near Father's Day and I wanted to show you guys off, uh, introduce you to my father. Great influence in my life. This is Bob. So uh, we're going to be doing uh, together the commentary and reviewing the mods. So today we're doing four mods. Hopefully we got one that we can actually see. It's a creature mod called Bulgans. Uh, they are creatures that are kind of like the giant sort of. They're different. They look kind of like a giant slash orc almost from what I saw the pictures. And as you guys know, you are reviewing it the same time I'm reviewing it. So we'll get to experience everything together and you guys know if you haven't seen my videos I got a rating system two thumbs up means it's good to go and you should play it thumb up thumb down means it might not be that great or it's really great and has some glitchy crap wrong in it you know stuff like that like you know enchanting tables don't work whatever uh, you can't find the key because the person didn't put it in there then two thumbs down means glitches your damn system, crashes your games, it's just as stupid as hell, or just plain sucks. So, from further ado, we're going to go try this. So right now we are doing, uh, okay, the Bulgans is from Upal 304. Uh, we're also going to be doing the Northwest Retreat by a guy named Ortizan Rico. It's, some of these people's names are so hard to, uh, <laughs> to understand. Uh, Strange Magic. The Beast Mode by Jersik, and then No Borders Saltenheim uh, by uh, Ragu Mater. So, and you guys are like, what the hell's of No Borders? Y'all know where Saltenheim Island is, which is right near uh, Morrowind. We're going to hopefully be able to run to Morrowind. Now, you guys are people like who have never, who uh, are you not new to mods and stuff, are like, wait a minute. That doesn't look right. These doors are supposed to be shut, and they're supposed to be a loading sequence. One of my all-time favorite mods is Open City Mod. Yeah, each door just opens up. So now, it's kind of dark, and it's probably late at night, so we're not going to find that guy, maybe. Bannered Mare. So, to get the strange magic, we need to find a peddler in here. Now, he might be wearing Forsworn armor, so we don't know if he's going to kill us or not, because he might be Forsworn. Forsworn are like the Nords who did not, you know, be si they didn't civilize themselves. And when the alt Mary Dominion basically said, you guys can't worship this guy named Talos anymore, the Forsworn said, fuck you, alt Mary Dominion, we're going to kick your ass, and they ran into the woods. <laughs> So, let's see, we got our immersive winches. Hey girl, you're, uh, yeah, Sadia, you're gonna die. I'm gonna kill you later. Oh shit, you, the hell, you're a magic witch, go away. Oh, there, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I think we found her. Mysterious merchant with the fur bikini. Is that itch during the summer? What the hell's wrong with your face, lady, oh my god. <laughs> Take a look. What do I have for sale, let's see. Do you have... Uh, don't care about that tree gore. Strange mysterious axe said to have enchanted by hearsing and poisonous sap of a long extinct tree. Paralyzes... Oh god, nothing. Never mind. I got something way more powerful than that stupid ass thing. Dragon scale armor and hearsing robes and... and I'll buy it anyways, just so we can see what it looks like, people. Yeah, everybody knows what dragon scale armor looks like. You're selling one apple pie. <laughs> Where the hell are you carrying that apple pie? Here, just let me... Yeah. Here's the apple pie. Oh, wait a second, you want the wine? Yeah. Here's the wine. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. The animals. Yes. You demand obedience from all animals of the wild. Call within animals with 250 feet to service you. Oh, your service. You <laughs> service you. <laughs> hey, what do you need there, big boy? <laughs> Take form of a wolf. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Blessing of hearsing typically reserved for beasts. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care about that. Counter negative effects of hearsing's gift. I don't care about that. Summon Beastmaster Werewolf. Summons a Beastmaster Werewolf. Ooh, cool. 
I don't have enough gold. What? That much gold? 73 goddamn gold pieces? Holy shit, people. What the hell? That's okay. I got it. I'll just sell off a couple Daedric arrows. <laughs> How much gold she have? 262,000? Okay, fine. I will sell off that boat. I got a lot of armor I'm going to sell you, lady, from the last mod review we did. We got that one, that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oop, I didn't want to sell that, but I'll sell it anyways. Don't want, nope, don't want to sell my glass shields because I like them. Uh, let's see. No, don't, don't, oop. Dip, 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 dip. Keep all my boots. You're all like, what the hell is he carrying so much crap for? Well, because I have a lot of followers and going to have more followers and more followers and more followers and more followers and more followers. So that's why I need so much crap. And you're wondering, how the hell are you carrying so much crap? That's because I'm strong. No, it's actually because I have the cheat room mod. And I am wearing a ring of carry weight where I can carry 10 million pounds of crap. Where am I keeping it? Well, we call it hammer space, but you know, it's called rectum space. <laughs> Take a look. Well, because in all the, a lot of the video games, you'll see someone just reach behind their pound and they pull out a, a hammer that's like 25 yeah. feet tall. You know, so we call it hammer space. Summon Calypso. I'll well, take. Damn! Wait a second, I thought I... I don't know, but I thought I sold her a bunch of shit. Oh, fucking bitch. Take all my crap from me. Fine! Oh, she ain't buying the goddamn crap. She's just taking my money. What a whore. Fine, we'll be back and kick your ass after I take your stuff. Right? I mean, did she just rob you standing in your face? Yeah, I mean, it's like that guy we were watching last night. He was going around selling people their food and not giving them their change. Yeah. <laughs> what show was that called? Uh, okay. Practical yeah. Jokers or something yeah. like that? That was funny, guys. Guy lost a, a bunch of questions, so he had to get his nipples pierced and belly button pierced. Now, this is a guy that's kind of like receding hairline, and he got a belly button piercing that said sexy, and his buddies made him walk around with the t-shirt without a shirt on. Oh, that was so damn. Whoops. Here, let's uh, fast forward a couple of hours. Now my guy's like this. Uh, <laughs> Mommy, what's wrong with the dragonborn? He's special. <laughs> Now you guys are wondering like how in the hell is that torch on fire? Now this is a glitch that I discovered in uh, I think Morrowind. Okay, and basically what it is is you take a torch, you equip it, and then just drop it. Now it'll look turned off, but once you like leave or the city or come back into the city or whatever, it'll actually turn on. It doesn't burn anything and it just lights up and it never burns out. Because <laughs> everybody knows how horrible it is when you only got one torch and you're running through a cave and it's pitch dark and all of a sudden your torch goes out and you're like oh what the hell's that sound what the hell's that sound oh my god i'm about to die then you get your another torch and all of a sudden there's monsters around so why couldn't it be like in the cartoons where you start seeing the little blinking eyes looking at you in the dark <laughs> like, hello, what are you doing? Somebody okay, yes, I know you'll you sell me your own mother, but right. she's ugly and I don't want your mother. She's butt ugly. Okay, here. You can have some of my Eddos. Yes, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Go to another merchant. Now, you people are wondering why that guy had 10,000 gold instead of just 1,000 gold. Because I downloaded the mod called Rich Merchant Mod. So now these guys have money. Real money, so you don't have to sit there and travel from city to city to city to city to sell your crap that you got from one dungeon. And that's very annoying. <laughs> You're just like, damn, people. What the hell? You only. I'm going to kill you later. And I can't sell shit to her, so I will run down here and sell crap to her. I don't understand why that person's selling goddamn crap for 75,000 gold pieces. I think that's a little stiff. Take a look. 
tell you, that might be a negating factor on this mod. I have a fire surge. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 17,000, I'm feeling generous. I can always get more through the cheat room mod. Because they got a little tangy, uh, a little box you put, you know, you set a button that says, okay, give me 10,000 of the item. Put your item in there and it gives you 10,000 of that item. Oh. oh, yeah, I got potions too, I can sell real fast. Let's see. Excuse me, lady. Shut up, butt ugly. I mean, you look like a dog, so shut up, lady. I mean, doesn't she kind of look like doggish? Well, oh, you get my age. They all look good. <laughs> well, she actually looks worse than this in the vanilla game because basically I got a mod called Redesign Females and it makes them look better looking instead of like butt ugly like her. Miscellaneous, here you can have your dragon bone. Boom, you can have a few of my skulls. You just can't have Boris. Boris stays with me forever. And you're wondering, who the hell is Boris? Boris I discovered in Morrowind. And he got off the boat with me, prison boat with me as a skull. And I've kept him as a souvenir ever since in each game. So usually they find one, one skull or a skeleton and I usually find him. Like in Oblivion, he's the skeleton that's with me in the cell when the game starts. So, Boris. I haven't found Natasha yet, though. <laughs> Natasha? Boris and Natasha from uh, oh, Bullwinkle? Okay, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that lady running around for? Okay. What do you need? We're going to just Take try a few of these things because the time's getting on and I don't want to waste you guys' time, so. Let's see, uh, how much money? 62 goddamn thousand, holy shit, bitch. We'll just do the mammoth. Okay, so there's basically creatures, blah, 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 that you're gonna be able to summon. We're gonna see if we can summon a mammoth inside the town. Yeah, the guards should be really fun with that one. <laughs> oh, I had one mod on here called, uh, 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 ultimate weapons mod, I think it was, and basically had a crossbow that fired nuclear bombs. Oh God! <laughs> I fired one in the town that killed the basically everybody, had like 19,000 bounty on me instantaneously. It's like, <laughs> whoops, sorry. Yes, people, you can actually see that on one of my videos for mod review. And I got a, a giant club where I could like hit someone and send them like a couple of miles away. <laughs> Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. Okay, call armies, storm clothes, imperials, blah 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 blah. If you guys are wondering what this is, that's the call armies mod, which is located up in Dragon Reach. So you go through into Dragon Reach's front door, immediately to the left. Once you download that mod, otherwise you don't get it. Oh, I already got those. Got that one, got that one, got that one, that one. Yes, I got a lot of spell books. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I got all of the powers and elements. Oh, I don't have to worry about that. Sigurd. Lord Doom, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Parthenax, I'm coming to kill you later. Parthenax is a good trick. That tries to help you. Well, he's not really a good dragon. He's a dragon. But he got his ass kicked by uh, Alduin. So he's sitting up on that mountain up there. And that's who he's basically having you invoke his revenge for. Him. Okay, let's see. Where the fuck is his goddamn animals? Ah, here we go. Mammoth. Do do do. Okay, Command Daedra. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't know where those ones are. Alteration, maybe? No. I could have sworn I bought those ones. Oh, you know what? They're probably in powers. Yep, there they are. Okay, Mammoth away! Mammoth away! 
Mammoth, away! God damn it. There. Where's the mammoth? I don't see it. I know, it must be invisible. Do you guys see an invisible mammoth anywhere? There he is, over there. <laughs> well, that's my stupid Demora Lord. Which those guys are pretty good in a fight, you know. You just, you know, they go, ha ha ha! And they just chop whatever the fuck's coming at you. Or they get eaten by the dragon, and that's funny as hell when they get thrown. Okay, Mammoth, I command you. Mammoth, I command you. What the fucking hell? Powers can only be used once a day. And, uh... Supposedly animals should be, you know, coming out and helping me. So let's go see if I can have this horse follow me. Hey, come here, follow me. There's a horse. Will you follow me? No, it's not going to follow me. Well, that was kind of lame there, folks. Let's see what other power I have. That was animal dominate. Oh, 250 feet. Oh, God. Sorry about that. I should have had something else. Let's take form of a wolf. Oh crap, I'm gonna. Oh shit, don't tell me I'm turning into a werewolf. Ah! God damn it. Yeah, see, now I gotta run away. Oh, sorry! Run away. <laughs> run away. Okay, since we're in run to mode, we're gonna go really quickly and try to find a bulgin. They might be out here. They're supposedly, you know, herding boars, crap like that. I think I need to get my root off the red nosed reindeer mod back on. Okay, you were looking at something. Well, that is a bounty collector. Oh, well, he can really swing that way. <laughs> that will feed on it. Mmm. But, human, but it tastes like ham. <laughs> Okay, so far we have not seen one of those boogers yet. Let's go right over here really fast and see. If not, we'll fiddle around with them later on and go to the Northwest Retreat and see how well that is. Now, I do not know how long this power is uh, going to... Yeah, see here's the perk tree for werewolves. Do more damage, totem of terror, totem of predator. Let's see if I can actually, oh yeah. Crap. Damn, how long is this thing gonna last? So oh, well, well, we'll just run the hell up there. So basically the Northwest Retreat is up by Dawnstar. So since I can haul ass like a dog, that dude's still chasing me. Like you just killed my friend. I did not kill your friend. I ate your friend. There's a difference. If you want him back, you're gonna have to wait eight hours. No, no, he's just like dun -dun 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 -dun. now. See, I wish in this part of the game they would actually allow me to be in first-person mode. 